Uh, Ms. Jenkins, uh, thank you, sir. You're, I yield back my time, and you're next, Ms. Jenkins. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Mr. Secretary, for, for joining us today. As you know, manufactured housing regulated by you provides affordable, non-subsidized home ownership for millions of Americans and consumers, particularly lower and moderate income families. Back in 2000, Congress passed the Manufactured Housing Improvement Act in order to reform and modernize key aspects of the HUD regulatory program for manufactured housing. And among those reforms was a provision to require and fund a non-career appointed official to administer the program. We have been advised, though, that this position has not yet been filled. Do you intend to fill the position with a political appointee? Uh, I would say, honestly, Congresswoman, that's not a decision that's been uh, made at this point. We are still evaluating our overall uh, funding and staffing levels, uh, as, as you know, uh, an important part of the last few months has been staffing up, uh, understanding the budget that we have as well as the number of political slots uh, versus uh, career slots. And so I, I have not made a decision about that at this point. I would be happy to discuss with you further uh, your interest in that and uh, we'll make sure uh, when we've made that decision to, to let you know. Okay. Any timeline? Uh, I, I, I don't have a specific timeline at this point. Uh, given your interest, I will certainly uh, pledge to you to get back to you quickly on it. Okay, excellent. Could you also comment on how you view the department's implementation of the Manufactured Housing Improvement Act? And um, are there any aspects of the legislation that needs to need to be improved upon? Well, one of the early uh, issues that I faced uh, when I arrived as secretary is that there were important provisions in Title II that were passed uh, last summer that had not yet uh, been implemented. And in fact, there was concern within the department uh, that we might, might need an extended rulemaking process to implement those, despite the wishes of Congress to, to move quickly on that. Um, we evaluated that, made the decision uh, that we would not go through a full rulemaking process, and that uh, we are uh, finalizing a, a mortgagee letter around that um, uh, that, that will implement those, those provisions. So uh, that, I think, is, uh, was the, sig the most significant concern I had heard and, and, and dealt with when I arrived as Secretary, and we're moving forward on that. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Thank you, Thank Mr. You. Chair. I yield back the remainder of my time. Thank you.